Okay, mark out of 10. Go, three, two, one, yeah, go. Yeah, 20. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's gotta be. <laughs> yes, mate. <laughs> just wait. Honestly, just wait. Hello and welcome to another video and we're in LA, baby. Here with Gymshark on an absolute mad one. So I felt it was only right that we ate a ton of American food. Kind of like a British try American fast food type vibe. Like at this point I feel like I'm morally obliged to do so. It's gonna be great. We're gonna hang out with some of the Gymshark guys. It's gonna be a good time. If you are excited, three quick things I would love you to do. Firstly, drop the video a like. Secondly, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. It takes you five seconds, costs you nothing. And thirdly, sign up to the Morsi app, greatest fitness app on the planet. We've just released a new progress tracking feature, which without going into too much detail, is gonna change the game. It basically allows you to compare progress over any lift, over any period of time, and essentially makes it impossible for you not to make progress and hit PBs in the gym. So top link in the description, go and get involved. We're so confident you'll love it. We'll let you use it for seven days, completely free, no strings attached. Anyway, who cares? Let's go and get some breakfast. Please, can I get like a big stack of banana protein pancakes, please? Then could I just get some like scrambled egg on the side, please? That's perfect, thank you very much. My thank you very much. Uh, blueberry protein. Uh, All right, thank you very much. So, I am an avid fitness guy, so I've got protein pancakes, also got eggs as a protein side. CJ is a very unoriginal guy. He copied my work. Well, what? It's lemon Half ricotta. a lemon on your thing. And also, that looks like toothpaste. It does. CJ's got toothpaste and blueberry pancakes. Two things. First, I was going to just check the... I was concerned the protein pancake element wouldn't be as good as regular ones. Just quickly see if that's the case. Still pretty good. Yeah, yeah okay, pretty good, good. good, good. I'm torn between the old fashioned, which is just like maple syrup and butter pecan. So I think I'm gonna go like a couple with butter pecan mm. and then flick it up. Yeah, a little half but either half. way, we all know what's yeah. about to happen right yeah, now. Yeah. It's actually really good to be fair. I need to go and wash my face. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. I think I'll my D syrup to my mug is off. I think it's off. Yeah, you're clear. Yeah. Okay. I'm excited. I'm very excited. Hunger. So it's like 10 or 11 here, which in the UK is like, I don't know, 7 o'clock PM. Yeah. So my body clock's pretty mashed, but I'm definitely hungry. Oh, by the way, we're in, we're in IHOP. I'm trying to think of classic American fast food breakfast places. This screams out as the number one for me. How is it? Good. Syrupy, very syrupy. Yeah, very syrupy. It's <laughs> had a good amount of time to just have that syrup absorb. Oh my god. I'm, what am I doing? Oh my I'm literally decimating this. This could not have gone any worse. What is this? <laughs> I like whenever you take a bite of something, you have the same like inking, eating face. What do you mean? It's got, it's got a lot of syrup on it. Things like, I don't know, 800 calories on the menu, probably add on like another 500 for the amount of syrup I've absolutely yeah, for sure. doused it in. It doesn't feel very protein, you know like normally protein pancakes, you can tell they're like grainy and dense. They're still like very soft. Done. That was Ooh, good. Very, strong very. like. Sorry, it was a strong <laughs> like. Seven out of ten. I feel like it started well, peaked, then it went like off a hill quickly. Um, my stomach has not adapted to this new time zone, so I need time to get used to that. Anyway, everyone, like all the gym shot guys, are over at Muscle Beach doing a shoot, so we're going to head over there and just you know see what the crap. Is. Welcome 
to Muscle Beach, AKA David Lay Brothers. American Outdoor Muscle Playground. <laughs> uh, Beautiful so. thing about training outdoors in a situation like this is because you know when you're like lifting a power lifter and stuff like yeah. you got to stay tight on that bench any amount of sliding is like suboptimal but the yeah. thing is because the sun is beaming on there yeah, so much yeah, you, yeah, your yeah. skin will actually melt with it <laughs> and you'll have that perfect like stability so you got to, there's the pros and cons the cons being you're staring directly into the sun the the, the pros being the, like you said it's dry as you literally stick to the bench so you're balls deep in a photo shoot as are these guys over here i'm not because i'm i'm above them so i'm just going to bench press I'm gonna do probably three heavy sets of somewhere between two and four reps. Dave's just gonna cheerlead. Just gonna... I'm, I'm gonna be here for spotting, some moral support, and also get a little sneaky pump in with like 135 in between my shoes. <laughs> Cause on the, I'm in the lower tier, I gotta you know, get my shoes in. Also been joined by Will Tennyson, AK Big Will. Is that your Big Will? You can whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah. Big Will. This sounds like the Big Will soundtrack. Can we? <laughs> Bench motivation to the audience. Whatever goes down must come back up. Okay, bench is done. That was intense. By intense, I mean sunny and it burnt my face. Uh, we're now gonna do a quick little push workout because we're on Muscle Beach, that'll be rude not to. I wish you all the best I get that I stop myself a while. Extremely dehydrated and calorie depleted, am I? Calorie depleted? Yes, you are. Maybe I am. Let's go and get some American fast food lunch. Okay, so I am here from the UK, right? This is my first Chick fil A experience. Okay. What would you recommend? What are like the go to? Do you know what I mean? What are the. What would you say a man in my position should be getting? Spicy sandwich? Spicy sandwich. How spicy, spicy is it? Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10. I'd say it's like. Four. Ah, that's four okay, four. yeah, let's do that, yeah. yeah, yeah. I would actually like to do fruit though on the side. Can I just get a fruit, some separate fruit? You want to get fruit on the side? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Probably after that, you want to go with the strips. I feel like the strips are better than the nuggets. Okay, yeah, do that. Like the... The juice Fanta. What are like popular things, you mean? What are people like getting like from Chick-fil-A? We have shakes. We have a famous shake right now. It's what called the Autumn it? Spice Shake. It's a little bit like it's a little bit like pumpkin. Right. Let's get let's do it. Let's get one of those. Yeah, done. Okay. What is the, what is get the Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A sauce. Chick Fil A. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's do that then. Let's get like a backup like ketchup just for safety. Yeah. Hey God. Okay. We had the most incredible member of staff. Name tag said Wales, so I'm gonna say assume his name is Wales. What a guy he was. But he basically gave me the stuff that he felt like I needed to have. As a first time. Yeah, yeah. Now this is my first ever time in Chick-fil-A. I've seen it in numerous videos. Like it looks good, but I, the, the proof is in the pudding, in the actual Chick-fil-A eating experience. Also, insisted I got a pumpkin spice milkshake, I'll be honest, I'm not convinced about this. No, that sounds nice. You think? think? Yeah, because everyone gets like the pumpkin spice like lattes and everything. Okay, it's fine. It is good to be fair. It's good, but that, that is like a, an absolute dessert. Yeah. Yeah. 
Anyone that's eating this as an accompaniment to a meal is a psychopath, a really overweight psychopath. It's like, this is a, this, I don't know how many calories, but this must be a lot of calories. Yeah. Okay. Let's go with this spicy sandwich. Not a big spice fan. He told me it was a four out of 10 on the spice scale. So it's not sourced up, I need to go sauce. What is Chick-fil-A sauce? Do you know what it is? Oh, that is. It's kind of like nice. a nice. mustardy mayo, like yeah, spicy yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of. Also on a side note, this is a weird, drive slash order only Chick-fil-A, you can't actually sit inside. It's a spicy sandwich, cheese and bacon. That's no, good, it's like an eight out of 10. Dang. It's like a good level of spice. Yeah. Spicy enough that you're aware of it, but it's not like annoyingly spicy. It's like a more exotic KFC, you know what I mean? It's yeah. got more of a vibe to it. Strawberry Phantom, mate. What a time to be alive. Chicken strips with the Chick-fil-A sauce. Also really good. The sauce, like, I don't think I like it, but it is good. It's kind of like a low-key, spicy, creamy kind of vibe, you know? I'm not a big creamy sauce man, but it's good. It's making my experience better. Okay, waffle fries. I wasn't aware they were waffle fries, but that, that's just their standard fries, right? Yeah, it is, yeah. Good, like a seven out of ten. Not overly potatoey. This sauce is actually sick, by the way. Yeah. This might be like my favourite condiment from here on in. Do you get it in the UK? Does that exist? No. So that's why they give you like quite a lot because a lot of people take them home. I'm gonna bring a massive fat of it home. Yeah. <laughs> hey, bud. All oh, right. Okay. Chick-fil-A done it was good it was yeah it was better than it was, it was definitely better than IHOP what is this shot mate I can tell this is a terrible shot um, oh, ridiculously creamy thousand calorie milkshake is not sufficient we're gonna go and get some dessert from an extremely popular American diner I mean, red velvet is my favorite. I mean, that red velvet one, that... Okay, done, let's do that. Thank you very much, have a good day. We need to pick one, please, we can. Is that necessary? Oi, okay, here we go. So this was, what was this one, like 15, 14? It's just shy of 1,600 calories. Who needs For one a 1,500 calorie slice of cake? Jesus. Like, it looks unbelievable, but at the same time, like it should be illegal, do you know what I mean? Yeah. In the same way you're not allowed to sell most drugs, like you shouldn't be allowed to sell that. It's very misleading. <laughs> but it's not a suitable thing for me to be eating right now because I'm already quite full, but yeah. I need to get the full American experience. I'm actually quite nervous to be honest. I've been to the Cheesecake Factory a couple of times before, but I'm just aware this is, this is a lot, do you know what I mean? You're doing it again. What? It's the first bite, thinking face. Like, I'm trying to take it in. <laughs> it is quite nice, but I can just like sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My brain is just like, what have you just put inside me? So normally, what people do here is when they go cheesecake, they obviously, you know, get normal food, right? Like spaghetti, yeah, yeah, yeah. pizza. But then when they leave, they always take a cheesecake to go home. That's the other thing, right? Cheesecake Factory is a misleading name. They obviously sell cheesecake. They also sell like every. Yeah. Every type of food under the sun. Whoo! I feel like I get psyched up to eat this, man. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> God. Damn it. <laughs> I mean, you've had three bites. That's already, what, 700 calories? Almost. Just imagine eating this on a regular yeah. basis. You're, you're getting heart disease. That is absolutely nailed on. Cheesecake done. My stomach is also done. I feel very sick like on the brink of vomiting to be honest yeah. we're now going to head back to muscle beach uh the gymshark 10 year anniversary event that's kind of the main reason we're here to be honest sounds like it's going to be sick there's going to be a crowd going to be some big lifts i think i'm probably going to get peer pressured into doing a heavy squat and probably a heavy deadlift not ideal preparation but yeah let's just go make it happen
big man. Let's go. All right, we'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> We are done. The event is over. What a glorious experience. We're now all gonna go. David is adamant that he wants to go to In-N-Out. He's been going on about the last like three hours. So you In-N-Out. You sweet green. You're just a health nut, dude. In-N-Out in in out Burger. Out. It's gonna be us guys. That dude there on the wall, he's coming as well. Let's go. <laughs> Who's that guy on the wall again? Is that one of the guys <laughs> in Arizona? I don't know. No, no, no. Hey. Please, can I get a cheeseburger? Can I get like just cheese and ketchup in the burger, please? None of the other stuff. You know? What do you recommend? What are like the classic items? Yeah, animal style fries. They're, uh, fries Let's get some of those. We're done. Let's get those. What is your personal favourite cake? Let's do that. Let's get one of those, please. And then also a large root beer as well, please. Are you? Why don't you look at this? Oh, you what, what, what are you vlogging? What, what? Okay, it's the, if I you know the quality of the shots absolutely take a drop is because CJ's relinquished the camera. The today. only thing that's taking a drop is your baseline health. High cholesterol, yeah, high so blood pressure, inflammation everywhere. Looking at the tray, this is actually disappointing. I thought we had more than this. Also, that's quite upsetting as well. Uh, did you order fries? CJ, did you get fries? No, okay. So we have the animal fries, aka fries with just loads of on them. We have CJ's weird burger, my pristine burger, which doesn't act like What, look at the size of the burger. Are you kidding me? And then we have, oh, this is on the, the uh, guy's recommendation, is a Neapolitan milkshake, aka strawberry, vanilla, chocolate, all in one. The triumvirate. Give me your in and out. So soggy, what is this? Soggiest little soggy bit of paper. Look at the size of the burger. I can't, that's not right, is it? That is just can you health march, and fitness can right you there, in wrapped there. in a bun. I feel like I haven't made the best choice here, but we're gonna go with it. It's also a weird cheerleading activity going on by. Go turn around, this one in motion. All right, Harvey Weinstein, let's keep <laughs> <in> this one. <laughs> well, I got the action. To be fair, <laughs> that's, actually, that's actually really good. That's like a 8.5 out of 10. The lizard people put secret chemicals in that burger to trick your brain into thinking that you're eating grass-fed, organic, an healthy issue, right? foods. So not only is he terrified of any food, he's also adamant that the hotel we're staying in is haunted. To the point where Jim Shark has booked the hotel, he's going to try and book an, uh, an alternative hotel. Hilton Checkers in LA. Is it, is it actually haunted? It's not. When, when, when the safety of my spirit is under such massive assault by Gymshark's mishap, little miscalculation with how they book things, I am taking it in my, into my own hands to save my own life. And you go to a hotel that's not possessed by a whole bunch of LA demons. The milkshake is a nine out of 10. It's really, really good. The, the cross flavor infusion is working brilliantly. It's, full, it's fueling my Inevitable victory in this arm wrestling against Benjamin. I've beaten him. I've beaten him twice. This is the third time. Can I, I win. Three out of three. I win. I go to my hotel. He <laughs> wins. I go to Demon Village. If David doesn't win within three seconds, it counts as a victory for me. He's your favourite. So you got to be. If you're that good, you should better beat me. Three seconds. Yeah. All right. Well, change strategies. Well, why are you so far? I'm we're here, mate. Why are you so far away? Three, two, one, go. One, two. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Oh. oh, oh, Matt is not. Oh, oh my days. Press it, press him. Three, two, one, press, press. When I was here and you went for that, I got scared that you were going to rip my shoulder. Oh, but you didn't win in three seconds. So by default, the match already finished. He's still not come to the Demon Hotel. David is, coming. David is coming to the Hilton Checkers Hotel. Baby! And my friends, we are done. Video is over. You happy with that, CJ? Yeah, man. I'm so full from all the food. Really yeah. Cool. Summary, right? I feel like the majority of the places we visited have been quite grimy. Do you know what I mean? Quite like sleazy, greasy fast food. Chick Fil A was more as the cleanest food we had all day. Yeah, Chick Fil A was more. Yeah, yeah. yeah like uh, what's the word? Was more. Um, whatever the word is, a word for Gourmet? being non non greasy. You know. Yeah. Um, but th oh, this is as say the In and Out was like the. I'll be honest. To be honest, the animal fries. They were animal. They was, it was literally like a creature had made them in the kitchen. It was like not very enjoyable. This milkshake, this Neapolitan milkshake, recommended to me by the very nice server guy in there, was a great shout. 
Um, and yeah, it's been a wholesome American fast food experience. I'm very, very tired now. My body is absolutely ruined. I'm jet lagged. Uh, my stomach feels weird, but we got it done. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. If you're not already signed up to the Morsi app, top link in the description. Greatest fitness app on the planet, and I will see you tomorrow.